Well, good morning. Out down here in uh, town, the town of Patton, and uh, just felt really compelled. I need to do a video quickly on this issue, the issue of the porch strike. Uh, what I think it's really about. I know it's not real bright right now, but it's very early morning. I want to get this done. But this port strike thing, got to thinking about this, and this uh, head of the Port Authority thing, he comes out and he says that uh, he's going to basically hold America hostage, and um, and that uh, he can just cut off supplies and whatever else, which is a threat. It's a serious threat to America. But that's what he's going to do. That's what he said. And what is that going to do? Well, that's going to cause the price of everything to go up. Inflation, in other words. Now think about this for a minute. The Fed cut interest rates by 50 basis points, and that's going to cause inflation to go up. And the Port Authority is saying, we're striking right now until we get better wages and whatever else, and that's going to cause prices to go up. Could it be that they're doing this port strike thing to cover up for the inflation that's coming as a result of the interest rate cut? Hmm. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And of course we have this uh, Israel-Iran situation right now, where Iran attacked Israel. And uh, while I am a supporter of the nation of Israel, I am not for what they're doing with all these you know, aggressive wars, and of course that they're trying to draw America in to all these things as well. So, um, it's going to get nutty. And the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. And uh, that's going to be tried. A lot of people are going to have their faith tested and tried. And um, I don't know. I think quite frankly that uh, the judgment that's coming to America the Bible says that it's going to begin at the house of God. And uh, there's a lot of people that profess to be Christians. But when push comes to shove, when they have to start living by faith, I think that you're going to see some of those people fall away. And um, so, kind of a different video setting I realize here, but I just wanted to get this out. I think it's very important. And another thing too, uh, which I talked about, um, gave a quote on this, I think if I remember correctly, I think I showed the quote. Let's walk back this way, son. Um, uh, another thing here is that um, there was a quote from uh, one of my wife's books that she's been researching, and it's, it says that uh, insurance is the mortar between the bricks of commerce, something to that effect. Uh, insurance is what's holding this country together right now. And again, another weird aspect is the thing of with inflation, a lot of places and things were built here in America back in the boom times when the dollar was a lot stronger. You know, a lot of the war projects after World War II or during World War II. And now those, um, that infrastructure is in very desperate need of repair but the problem is what might have cost five million dollars back in the 1940s for some big bridge or whatever else now is you know probably 30 40 million due to inflation well the problem is there again how do you fix up a nation that has crumbling infrastructure when the dollar is inflating hyperinflating and there's two more rate cuts they're saying this year one in November, one in December, which is going to cause inflation to go way up. So uh, brace yourself. <laughs> it's going to get wild in this country and there will be a lot of death. And uh, as a Christian, you need to look at this thing. Um, God, uh, he has no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from their evil way. God wants the wicked to turn. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So you don't take glee in it. Uh, you don't enjoy it. But what you do is you look and you say, well, it's the judgment of God coming upon a nation that has aborted, I don't even know, hundreds of millions of babies. If you talk about the abortifactants that go into it as well, 
not just the actual physical abortions, but the uh, chemical abortions as well, birth control and all that. I mean, this nation is wicked. There's no question about it. And it's going to be facing God's judgment. And get ready for it. There's no turning from it. And, uh, of course, you know, oh, we're going to go to war now. I heard that some troops are being mobilized and sent to war. Uh, how can we afford to go to war? So all the stuff that's going on down south, all the infrastructure that's being destroyed down there, um, it's going to bankrupt the insurance industry at some point in time. And when it does, that's the end for this country. I mean, think about it. Your house is destroyed by a flood and there's no insurance to cover it. A bridge is washed out and there's no insurance. Can you imagine what would happen to this country if the insurance industry falls? So just something to think about. Um, get right with the Lord because time is running out for this nation. That's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.